Just Joe here, and I've got too many movies. Maybe I should watch one. So, uh, this week I decided to uh, pick a film that I've been really, really wanting to watch for a really, really long time. And I, I'm perfectly, I'm excited about it, obviously you can tell. It's not just coffee, I'm excited about it. Because I really, I've been wanting to watch this film for a very long time. Because it was the inspiration for Kevin Smith and his movie Clerks. Because Kevin Smith saw this at a film festival and he was just like, holy shit, I can be a filmmaker. And blah, blah, blah. And that's what Clerks was to me and a lot of other people. So I'm hoping that this movie will be this, you know, have the same effect. It was made by Richard Linklater, who produced it, wrote it, and directed it. Uh, the guy who just won a couple gold globes a couple years ago for uh, uh, Boyhood. Uh, a wonderful film, which, I'm sorry, I've already seen it. But his very very first film, or basically his first film that got him a lot of recognition, got him his start as a writer and filmmaker, is Slacker. 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 So yes, Richard Linklater's Slacker. I've had this movie for a while, and I've almost been kind of intimidated to watch it because it's seen as one of the greatest independent films of all time. It's in the National Film Registry. Like I said, it was an inspiration for Kevin Smith, who's one of my all-time writers. <laughs> all my, uh, one of my all-time, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, I can't talk. Hang on, hang on, more coffee who's one of my all-time favorite writer and directors, and Richard Linklater, I'm a huge fan of his as well. So I'm excited to watch this, see if it lives up to the hype, and I'm gonna go watch it. So I'll be right back, bye. <laughs> I just got done watching Slacker. I'm done watching it. So, um, yeah, did I love it? Did I hate it? Did it live up to the hype? Well, let's get into it. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the plot slash the script. Okay, so the plot of Slacker is basically this. The plot of Slacker is... The plot of Slacker Hang on. Nope. Okay, there really isn't a plot to Slacker. There's no main character. There's not even really supporting characters. It's not that kind of movie. It's almost like an experimentation with filmmaking. And I loved it for that. I truly did. It, it was unique, just like Boyhood took you know, 12 years to make because they had to wait for the, the younger act, well, I'm sorry, not the younger actors, all the actors to get older. And that was a cool experimentation with filmmaking because it, it takes a long time for that. Slacker is the same type of thing. It basically starts off with this one guy and then he like, he talks to this cabbie, he goes somewhere and then it moves on to a woman who gets hit by a car and then it follows this other guy. And that's how the movie proceeds for an hour and a half. That's all it does. It just goes from one person to the other with interesting stories and you know, interesting conversations and it just keeps going 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 for an hour and a half and I was you know into it for about the first hour and then after that it kind of started to wear on me a little bit because really what this movie should have been called was interesting assholes that's who the characters are they're interesting assholes and like I said they're interesting but the majority of people in this movie are assholes even the nicer people but I don't hate them for that because they are interesting. So a lot of the dialogue is a lot of fun. It gets a little bit repetitive. And now I'm gonna move on to the script because that's basically what the plot is. It's just one day in the lives of many people in Texas. And that's it. This movie doesn't feel very big, you know, but but it is. It's, it's just a lot of moving around. It's, you know, just a lot of stuff happening and so much dialogue and unique dialogue and well-written dialogue and it, it it only really gets boring for me towards the end but it still picks up every now and then with some kind of interesting characters uh, i really liked it towards the end it, it's a photographer from london this conversation you have with this kind of anti-artist guy like i enjoyed that a lot and 
You know, the script is solid. Richard Linklater had a very unique idea, and he was able to put pen to paper, or pencil to paper, or hands to typewriter, whatever was available back then. It was a stone age, it was the early 90s. You know, I don't even think there were computers back then. Were there? Were there? Were there? No, there weren't. And that's the truth, kids. I'm just Joe, and I tell the truth. The script is solid. Richard Linklater did an amazing job with it. You know, uh, especially for one of his first, or really his first feature film, it really is a home run when it comes to that. Next, I'll move on to the cast slash the characters. The cast of people, you know, you could tell a lot of these people, they're not really actors, but really there weren't any bad actors in this. You can tell most of them, you know, the acting did not become their career, I would think, but they do fine, you know, and it's, it's a large cast, a lot of, I didn't think it'd be this many people, and they do fine. You know, for an independent film on whatever budget Richard Licklater had, you know, he cast it pretty well. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, and last but not least, uh, move on to the directing, editing, and the music! The direction in this is marvelous. It's really, to me, kind of the highlight of the movie. It's it, it's a lot of just these long one-take shots, and a, a lot of the praise goes towards the actors for that, for being able to do these long takes. There's not really a lot of editing involved. It gets towards the middle of the movie, towards the end, there's a little bit more editing to it, but, you know, the actors have to do these long takes, and the, kind of complicated takes, where it goes from, you know, it's like, you know, it goes here on a street, and then the character goes that way, and it follows another character this way, up into the house, and it keeps going, going, going. It was all like Birdman, one of my all-time favorite movies, where it's all, you know, it looks like one long shot, but the majority of the scenes, they were put together, but they are these 10, 12, 15 minute takes. And in this movie, nothing goes on for that long, but some takes go on forever, and they look beautiful. You know, the movie does look good, it's got that old, independent feel, you know, from the early 90s, and it looks real grungy and kind of dirty, you know, I like that. And it, almost like an underground film, and I, I dig it. And I, I dig it, man, I dig it. I dig it with my movie shovel, I dig it. So the direction is top-notch. Richard Linklater really showed how wonderful a director he was back then and how good of a director he could be in the future because he is a great director. He knows how to uh, get what he needs from his actors and get these unique shots and these beautiful shots and get everything in the scene and it's, it's great. And like I said, not really much to the editing. There's not a lot of editing in the movie. It's fine. Uh, a couple times there was like a crossfade and it didn't match the rest of the movie. I don't, I don't like that. I don't really know what else they could have done. To me, it just seemed like they were out of ideas. So that's a little bit lacking, but editing is fine. And there's really not much music in the movie. It's, it's just the conversation is what takes up the sound of the movie. So I don't have nothing to say about the music because there really wasn't much music to say anything about. So there you go. So my final thoughts on Slacker is, I enjoyed it a lot, it's just, I was getting restless after the first hour. I think, to me personally, even though this film is legendary, I'm glad it's a feature film, but I think it would have worked better if it was only like a short film, like 45, 50 minutes. I, I think it would have been better. I think he pushed it a little bit, and it should not have been, it, it really just shouldn't have been a feature length. I got kind of bored a little over an hour in, and it's not because the movie's not interesting, it's just after a while, it's just kind of same old, same old, you know? So it kind of overstated Well, its welcome. It probably maybe even should have only been like an hour 15, hour 20 minute movie. But regardless, it is a legendary movie for a reason. And, you know, like I said, it inspired Kevin Smith and not just him, countless others, including myself. It showed how kind of a simple idea can also become a complex idea for a film. And if you have the vision for it and you know what you're doing, you can, you know, make the directing really good and the writing and you can make a very unique film. And that's why it's in the National Film Registry. That's why it's considered one of the greatest independent movies of all time. While it still inspires people to this day is because slacker is a word I keep using over and over, unique. To this day, it's still unique, and it's almost like a kind of a time capsule of the early 90s, which I dig because that was my decade, and I love movies that make me remember that time period, even if it's, you know, this is, I believe, in Texas, and I didn't live in Texas, but it still reminded me of the early 90s. So, you know, Richard Licklater, 
wonderful writer and director and he hit a home run with this and he deserves all the praise for it. I personally, I just, I wasn't as into it after an hour and it's not a film maybe I'll rewatch that much, but you know, in a year or two, I'll go back and maybe I'll think different things about it. But for now, I give Slacker a Joe rating of four and a half out of five. So, uh, there you go. This was uh, Too Many Movies, as you can see, with me, just Joe. And I've got a lot more movies to watch, as you can see. More coffee to drink. And, you know, I just, I gotta get to it. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought of Slacker. Uh, tune in next Friday for uh, another Too Many Movies. Also, watch out for Too Many Movies at the Movies with me, just Joe. And also, Too Many Movies Rewatched. Uh, look out for those. Also, in the description below, look at all the links for the Facebook page, the Twitter, uh, Instagram podcast all that good stuff subscribe to my youtube page like i said every friday i will have a new episode of too many movies with me just joe and i will be as hyper as fucking ever because like i said i love movies i'm trying to be a filmmaker and i just want to watch movies and kind of drink a lot of this in order to make that happen mm. still got a lot to get through with my collection so i'm just joe i'll see you in the next video take care Quiet on the set.